Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to go about advances from customers. Actually, I have already created a video on how to do advances from customers, but the method I used in that video, which is the credit method, is not in conformity with GAAP since it will create a negative amount in our accounts receivable. I will put the link in the description below for that video. But the good thing about using the credit method is that QuickBooks will prompt you that there is a credit for that customer once you create the invoice. It will also show you a negative amount in the customer center, so making it easy for us to spot which customers have credits with us. We also use the credit method if there is only a short span of time from receiving the advance payment to making the actual invoice for the service or for the product. If the timing hits year end, we, we need to create a journal entry to properly categorize the advance payment as an unearned income, which is a liability account for reporting purposes. So for today, I'm going to show you how to receive advance payment from customers using the unearned income method, which is in conformity with GAAP. The downside for this method is that you need to constantly check the unearned income report or the advances from customers report to make sure that all advances are applied to the corresponding invoices. All right, so let's start. The first thing that we're going to do is to set up a service item in our items and services window for the advances that we receive from our customers. So I'm going to click this items and services and then right click anywhere, then choose new service type. And then the item name is advances from customers. We're going to leave the other information blank or optional. And then the account goes to the advances from customers account, which is a current liability account. And then I will click OK. Next is we're going to receive an advance payment from our customer. So I will go to the home page and then I will click create sales receipts. Put in the customer name. So from Emma. And then deposit two. The money goes to our cash and bank account. The date is today. And we're going to leave the other information optional. And then the item that we're going to use is, of course, the advances from customers item. The amount is one five. I will click save and close. And then save anyway for the class. Okay, so let's go to our chart of accounts. I'll click this. And then we'll go to the advances from customers account. I will double click this. Okay, so this is our advance payment from Emma, 1-5. And we already have other transactions from other customers. So I will close this. Okay, so now we will create the invoice for the customer. So I will click Create Invoices, and then I will go to Emma. The date is February 7, and then I will just leave the other information optional. So the item is Delivery Income. That's the actual service that we provide to the customer. The amount is one five. And next is we're going to put in advances from customers here, which is a negative amount of one five. Okay, so there, the customer doesn't have any outstanding balance with us anymore because they have already paid in advance 1,500 for this service. I will press Control Y so we can see the journal entry behind this transaction. Okay, there. So it's a credit of one five to sales and then a debit of 1,500 to advances from customer's account, which will offset with the advance payment that we have already entered a while ago. I will close this and let's go back to our chart of accounts and double click again, the register for the advances from customers. All right there, so this is our one five from Emma.
and this is the one five that we applied to close the advance payment so next is we're going to create a memorized report a customized report which will show the open advances from customers so let's go back to the chart of accounts and then go to the advances from customers right click and then create a quick report and then we're going to customize this and we will show the debit and the credit amount in the columns and we'll just take out the amount column and the balance column you can also take out the split column we don't need that click ok right there and then we're going to change the title of this report to advances from customers okay so we're going to memorize this and then save this in our accounts receivable reports okay i will click okay all right there so every time that we want to check the advances from customers report we just go to reports and then memorize reports go to accounts receivable reports and then advances from customers all right there and then to make sure that this report shows you which advance payment is still not applied to invoices what we will do is after create an invoice for the application of the advance payment we will go back to the sales receipt and then we put a memo that it is already applied you can put in the date if you want to and then i will click save and close yes okay so as you can see there is a memo applied and then we can also put a memo in the invoice as to which sales receipt number this invoice applies to so sr number one save and close all right there so this report is very useful because you will know which advances are not yet applied to invoices and you will also know which invoice is applied to the advance payment Okay, so that's how we receive the advances from customers using the unearned income method. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.